Hello, welcome back. Uh, for this task, I'm going to do uh, install web server, Apache, PHP, MySQL, and all the features that I may need later on. And I also install going to do N uh, Nmap as well. And after that, I do a testing from remotely. Okay, so first I got to do my um, PHP. So find out where the PSP is installed or not, it's really simple. You just do a service httpd and start. There's nothing there. So you find out yum uh, this httpd and then asterisk the example, it show you a couple. So at the moment the server is, is available there. So it's not just install any. So I'm going to install that part, yeah? So I'm going to copy them. Yum dash y install and then paste that. And then there you go. And then I'm going to do my SQL, the same thing. Um, yum list my SQL asterisk there. See what they got. So they're still not just install. The server is still available. See the server is still available. That's a install packet and available packet. So I'm going to install that. And then uh, next one will be PHP. So yum. Um, this y install. And then my SQL. The next bit, I'm going to do PHP. So again, I'll find out which packet, uh, PHP, and then asterisk there, check any PHP available. So the PHP is still available, not yet installed, but uh, by the look of that, there we go. Not yet installed. Okay, so I'm going to install that. Okay, done. So now I'm going to Put up, put it up. Or you can try uh, service at ttpd star. Good. Now I'm going to do my SQL the same thing. My SQLD star. For the first time, there's no password. Okay, what about my PSP? I test my PSP, see how they go. Lower KV. There we go, my PSP is. 3. Uh, 5 3.5.3 and my SQL, my SQL, I check it out with my version capital V, that's my SQL version 5.1 okay, now put them together, re-put them together service HTTPD restart, I mean you put them put the uh, SQL together with, uh, sorry, PSP and, and uh, I bet you together Okay, uh, next one I try to find out what a service, so I just go to install nmap. I believe the Google default packet, they're not there yet. So nmap. Okay, so I do nmap localhost. In map. Local hosts. There we go. So at the moment I have here, but look like I don't have HTTPS. So port TCP443 is not there. So I got to find out what happened. So I got, uh, I need to install SSA mode. Uh, yum. That's why I install mode SSL sorry my top okay then restart the uh, restart the HTTPD again and then check whether the port 443 is there okay 443 is there now so I'm done. So very much that I done the Apache web server and map. 
and for that command if you want to boot up you want to boot up the Apache when you restart for example when you reboot the Linux again and then it's not there so you need to make it default so chk config and then you make the mysql uh, mysqld uh, on it will run by default and chk config activity is on there we go so next time you put it up you next time you put it up you will see that we run by default it's already select there example that's httpd by default it ticket okay and my sql bin below that you see it take that okay i'm done so next step i'm going to find out how do i test this working or not so next one is testing right number the next bit that i'm going to testing and so now i'm going to create that file that file there in um, in uh, the apache uh, uh, root folder a uh, web root folder so i'm going there for and then I'm going to make the file um, in for example PHP and then I paste that in or make it look a little bit good less confused that's actually how it's that look okay then this don't have that bracket over there and save it sorry save it and get out of there okay now i have a file that somewhere something is not right there the file is there so now i run that from remote how do i test this from remote so go back to my google and find out what are my uh, public ip address there we go my public ip address right there uh, happy with that or to make things simple you just go without the S for now, make things fast. So your Apache is running from remote, right? And uh, the testing file, say help my PSP in four dot PSP. Oh, beautiful. So that the PSP there is run. And you, you might run control F to find out my SQL, whether SQL is running together or not. So look like it's the SQL is not here. And you may not able to run Moodle with these services. So if you run, if you type Moodle SQL, it's nothing else without SQL. So it's not linked together and don't have any of this. So you get big trouble there. Okay. And then if that case is not working with SQL, so I got to find out what happened. So I believe there is no PHP my SQL. So I got yum. Uh, this PHP. S3 and I'm looking for PHP and my SQL the packet not just installed there we got that packet not just installed so now I install this packet and then restart that badge to make this effect install mm. install there we go so you need to restart your uh, httpd okay okay now you got to refresh them again you would have a lot more a lot of my sql here there we go before you have only one only now i have 40 48 of them there we go you need to have that to go further with uh moodle and um to achieve our goal is to get the Moodle installation on this. So that's task number two is just take a, a long time there. Okay, so the video is done. I'm gonna see you next video for that uh, Moodle installation. This one will take at least another seven minutes. Okay then, see you then.